Mid City is right in the middle of, of Orleans Parish. You know, the French Quarter downtown is that way, the lakefront is that way, the burbs are on either side. So we're smack dab in the city. This neighborhood was built like right at the turn of the century, right around 1900. And it survived Katrina, fortunately, we're blessed because from prehistoric times, this is like the highest part of New Orleans. Lucky for us, we had this little ridge of dry spot after the storm. This is City Park. Yeah, it's just a great place to come on weekends, have a picnic, take your kids. Beautiful stuff in here. I've been living here since I was four years old. My family left Cuba, did a traditional pit stop in Miami, and there were too many Cubans. <laughs> so we came to New Orleans and um, never left. Mid-City is my favorite part of the city. I can be in the French Quarter in 10 minutes, I can be on the lakefront in 10 minutes, I can be in the Burbs in 10 minutes. I think it's got everything that New Orleans has in terms of funk, culture, you know, just the joie de vie, and it's kind of away from the tourists. But now, post-Katrina, this neighborhood has boomed as the city has boomed. Katrina was 10 years ago, and you know, and being in Florida, where I was as a refugee once again, and wondering if we were gonna have a home to come back to, and my dad said, you know, we left our home once. We ain't leaving our home twice. We're going back to New Orleans. So we marched back, we rebuilt. You know, we're back to like 85% of the population, plus tens of thousands of new folk, mostly millennials and stuff. And it's just because they come here and they're like, where the hell have I been, you know? Honestly, I couldn't live anywhere else in the United States. It's its own unique, vibrant culture that has been here since the 1700s. It's very Afro-Caribbean, you know, we celebrate life and death. We sing to everything, we dance to everything. It was never British and Irish, it was always French, Italian, and Spanish, you know. And it's never changed. The style of life, the pace of life, the friendliness, the, the way people here love to touch and hug and kiss, even if you don't know them. We get drunk and we eat spicy food and you go to sleep and you're happy. As long as you have a nice piece of art, a good book, and a good friend, we roll. And that's what New Orleans is.